Hello, today we are going to discuss about Tetra technology. Now, Tetra stands for Terrestrial Terrestrial Trunk Radio. So, this technology as Terrestrial Trunk Radio, which is a trans European trunk radio. So this one is trans European trunk radio. It is basically a communication technology. I mean name it as that it is professional mobile radio. So we name it as professional mobile radio so tetra technology which is professional mobile radio technology which is trans european trunk radio now in this tetra technology there is a two way trans receiver specification So we have to wait trans receiver specification in this technology. So before moving to this technology, let's discuss that where this technology is being used. So this as a tetra technology is used by This technology tetra is being used by government agencies so various government agencies are using tetra technology for their communication network we have services running with this technology as emergency services then we have police forces There is fire departments, fire departments use this structure technology and we have ambulances services. So with or for public safety networks. So for such network, we are using the terrestrial term radio as tetra technology. Other than this public safety network, this is also used by rail transports. Staff so that they can communicate in a train system and also It is used by military services like border security forces or this technology. So these are the various applications of a tetra technology. So whatever we will discuss today, so we'll discuss that how government agencies, how uh, emergency services, how police forces, fire departments, ambulances, star, railway staff, military, as well as public safety networks are working so that they can, we can provide communication in such services network. Terrestrial trunk radio or tetra, it is basically a European, also we name it as TTSI standard. It is developed by ETSI standard as European Telecommunication Standard Institute. And this tetra technology in which the first version is launched in 1995. So this is launched as a very first version in 1995.
with tetra technology very first version. Now tetra that means what is the multiple access scheme on which tetra technology is working. So tetra is using TDMA. Tetra used TDMA as time division multiple axis. So basically the multiple axis scheme which is used in this technology as TDMA in which four user channels there are four user channels on one radio carrier. On one carrier, we have four user channel and we have 25 kilohertz spacing between the carriers. So we are for TDMA, we are giving a channel, user channels on a carriers and each and every carrier are separated with the frequency of 25 kilohertz. So the concept of the multiple access being used in the data technology as the same as time division multiple access. Now this technology is This technology as Tetra is both point to point it is point to point and it is point to multi point. So point to point transfer as well as point to multi point transfer is possible with the help of this tetra technology so we can use point to point communication as well we can use point to multi point communication so as point so if we are transmitting from one end so we require a dedication connection towards the second end so this one is a point to point as a point to multi point that we are transmitting from one end we want that this will travel to all of these points on a node so it will travel automatically so we call it as point to multi point. So this is point to point as well as point to multi point communication, which is both is possible in Tetra technology. So Tetra mobile station, what we require, we require Tetra mobile station. MS as mobile station that means the particular device which supports the data technology. Now these mobile station can communicate to DMO. DMO stands for direct mode operation. So Tetra mobile station can communicate to DMO or it can use it can use direct mode operation or we have TMO mode. Where TMO is trunk mode operation. So mobile station can use a direct mode operation or we can use a trunk mode operation by using switching and management infrastructure switching and management infrastructure so which is SWMI we name it as SWMI, Switching and Management Infrastructure. So 
switching and management infrastructure now this switching and management infrastructure is made up of tetra base station so this infrastructure is basically made up of tbs which is tetra base station so basically if i make a picture representation of this so we have a architecture and which is switching and management infrastructure in which we have tetra base stations so we have tetra mobile stations now these can communicate with tetra base stations which are there in a switching and management infrastructure so this is about tetra introduction that we had in today's class that how network is organized we will continue with the tetra technology in our next class thank you so much